Okay, can you hear me? Okay, so should I still try and this back?
will just let me know. Good evening, everyone. Ah, it's good to be here. Andrew is here also. If you are online, kindly signify. We are about to start the class. I'm going to bring up our speaker that is going to take us on email marketing right now. And we are set. If you are there, please say something. Let me know that you are with us tonight. Okay, so let's I want to bring you up right now. Okay, Andy Awalo, are you there? Okay. Um Okay, our speaker is here, is, is in our midst, midst already, uh, and I don't really want to wish, waste our time, so let me bring up Andrea, okay? Okay. Andrea, how are you? Are you there? Everyone. Your network is not friendly. Why this time that we started? Fine. Fine. Your, your network is not friendly. As Nigeria for us. Okay. Is it back now? Okay, it seems you are back right now. You <laughs> okay? So let me okay. see who is online. Any comments? Okay, let me let me check. Okay, I'm trying to hear your voice. Okay, so how are you doing, okay. Andrea? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. How are you? Um, I'm how doing good too. I'm doing good. Uh, okay. Good to have you here tonight. Uh, yeah, it's good to be here. <laughs> thank you for honoring our invitation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we are in the part of the world. Are you right now? I'm currently in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, okay. Chilling in my house, waiting for the <laughs> corona pandemic to, you know, settle down. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I want to see if we have anyone online so that we can. Well, without wasting much of our time, here is Andrea Waulo. Uh, he is a digital marketer to the core. Uh, few days ago, I shared a message here in the group that there is someone that we have met since 2016 that I don't even know that I have his contact with me and the person that I was really referring to is actually Andrea so uh, we have been together since 2016 that we have been running things online but I don't even know that he, 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 he's, he's monitoring me as <laughs> oh he's, he's someone that I even have as my in my contact I even have his phone number but I don't know and that is life sometimes and uh, Adria Wallo is, is a former act, in fact, it's not a, you are not a former architect, you are architect by uh, uh, architect but now yeah, you man. move into yes. copywriter or digital marketer and digital marketer, yes. so you are not a former, <laughs> so you are still an architect so is a, is a graduate of is a graduate of Unilag am I right, Unilag? Mm -hmm. yes, Unilag ok, 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 and what year? and this just this last year 2019 Twenty nine. Oh, you are Stravit and Co. If you know Stravit. Yes, yes. Yes, I had Stravit. Stravit that gave me your number. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. it's the one I gave you my. Okay, okay. You guys are yes. scored. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, yes. okay. That, 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 is, that is good. I, honestly, I like what you are doing, and I like the pace that you are moving. You know, uh, I like it that you you purposely shifted your focus to do legit business online. Uh, yes. and you are not among those who are denting the image of Nigeria in, in the diaspora. So I really like that. So, <laughs> you want to say something? I said we thank God for that. Uh, just, just, just do it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Andrea uh, started as a freelancer on Viva. Any five dollar is it per day or per week or per month? 
ah, like for <laughs> like for months. Uh, I was it was a struggle that time. Wow. But, yes. but now he has grown his digital marketing from five dollar to five figure. That is good. And I think you are going to share the secret with us tonight because we want to learn how to also do the same thing. So he is the he is the founder of Revenue Dynamo. And also you are going to tell us what the company is all about. Okay. A digital marketing agency that that really focus on course creators who want to leverage on email email marketing. To grow their, yeah, business, their, their business, and I'm very sure it's not only meant for course creator. Is it because of no, the, is it no, because no. of the platform that, that 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 we met that made you to think uh, you are focusing on course creator alone? Oh well, no! Um, one of my first businesses online was creating ebooks and selling ebooks as a course creator. Okay. So from there, I learned how to. I understood the market very well. Okay. It's somewhere I'm familiar with. Okay. And most of the clients I was getting on Fiverr, they were people that were selling courses, selling coaching programs, and things like that. So I just started specializing in that area. Okay. 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 Yeah. So. So that is my area of special. Oh, nice. Nice. Awesome. Just, yes. Okay, well, let 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 us meet you properly. Because I'm sorry, I was a bit distracted. I want to see what is going on on my own platform. Let's meet you properly. How okay. did you started this hustling, and and why did you even decide to let me go and start email marketing? Okay, yeah. so um, I started on Fiverr writing articles for five dollars, and then at that time, that was back in 2016. Okay. I was just looking for a way to supplement my income. Okay. And you know, um, article writing was the easiest thing that I could do at that time. Okay. Yeah, so as I wrote articles, I was saving up the money, and I saw a business online, I saw an advert that said how you could make money by selling your skills and expertise in the form of ebooks and courses. Okay. So I said, okay, this is something I think I can do. Wow. And I wrote my first ebook. It was on fitness that time, fitness. and I packaged it. To, yes, fitness. Just how to how to lose weight okay. and get fit. Okay. Yes. So in the the course I bought, teaching people how to make courses, okay. they taught us a little bit about writing um, the sales page, how to write emails, how to write marketing materials, and things like that. So as I was doing that, I was practicing it. And then one of the things I really liked okay. was the email part. Yes, I like writing emails to be sending to my subscribers, you know, building my list. Okay. It was like a community. Okay. And from there, I said, okay, why don't I offer this service on Fiverr? And I saw people offering the service and they were not charging. <laughs> So this was something I could do. I could charge. Extra. Okay. Your network. Can I hear, yes. I can hear you. From there, your network is somehow is not really friendly. So I don't know what's yes. going on. Why? Uh, but please, network, be nice tonight. We really need you. Please, without you, there's nothing we can really do. So network, <laughs> be nice. Okay. So I'm. Um, we proceed, Andrea. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I started writing emails on um, Fiverr. Okay. And the clients that would approach me, they usually had one ebook or a course or something that they were trying to promote to their email list. Okay. So they will contact me to rest that help them make more sales. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I, I did that for like a year. Then at one time, um, five hour movement from the platform. Like a lot of people signed up to Fiverr with um, US identity. Yeah. Is it network behaving somehow yet? Yeah, it's behaving okay, somehow. Okay. But we'll... All right. So, Hello? Okay, okay. 
Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you, but it's, it's okay. Okay, okay. So, um, after that, after the five hours after removing engineers from the platform, it became harder to get jobs there okay. on Fiverr. But I started looking for alternative solutions. Okay. Yeah. So I uh, took this course on social media marketing okay. um, by Hypers, how to form an agency that specializes in, you know, either social media marketing or advertising or email or all these kind of things. Okay. Um, from there, that's how I said, okay, I'm going to form an agency around this email marketing okay. and other digital services. Okay. Over, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. So, so how so that was. That, okay, I'm listening. Okay, so that was. Um, that was. Uh, that was uh, 18, 2018. Okay. So, as I was doing that, the money people were paying wasn't the kind of money I was expecting. Because mm -hmm. I was doing almost everything. I'll do the client's email, I'll write the sales page, okay. I'll be posting on social media. Okay. So I'll try a job of what bit and because of that I couldn't charge clients the kind of money I wanted to be charging them. Okay. So as I went forward, I met a mentor that said that it's better for me to specialize in the area that I know how to do very, very well. Okay. And I use that one to businesses get like, real results. But if you can do one thing very well, yeah. it's better than being able to do like five different things, but you're not very, very good at them. Okay. So I said, okay, what I'm very, very good at is email and the email automation, okay. you know, segmenting your list, attracting people into your email list, nurturing okay. them. And so I built a system around it. Okay and form my agency around that system. Okay. So email is what we do specifically. Because email is email is the best thing you can have for a business that is online because email is your way to keep in touch with your audience, you know, yes. send them promotion yes. from yes. Um, emails, you can sell more things. You don't have to be spending money on adverts every time. Once you have your email list yeah. You have it forever. Okay. If it's on Facebook, Facebook can shut down your group. Uh, at, any time. Your, at any time. And you do everything. Yeah. But email, email is for you. It's your it's own. own. You are free. Yeah. Yes. You can always move your email list to somewhere else. Yeah. From one platform to another platform. Mm hmm yeah. And email, the return on investment is very high. Yes. Because if you spend one dollar on advertising, you can make like two dollars back. Because you sell every month, every month, every month. I've been on some people's email list for the last five years, and they still send me regular mm -hmm. emails. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the same thing with me too. Like like Jeff Bula, I I think I re I receive his email about two or three times in a day, and there this guy too, Anthony Morrison. Know yes, I know him. You know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you must know him. If you are a digital marketer and you have never come across that young guy, <laughs> that guy is another wizard in, in digital, in digital yeah. marketing. That guy can send, sometimes he sends more than three emails per day. And for him wow. to be doing that, definitely is generating money. That is one thing everybody should know tonight. If you see someone doing something repeatedly, consistently, go and check it. That guy is making money from what he's doing. But if he's not making money, he won't be doing it. So, so that is that That's is true. It. Yeah. So, so that was how you transcend into email marketer, uh, into email marketing. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And you now form an agency, Revenue Dynamo. Yes. Yes. Wow. Exactly. That, that is good. No. Now let's go to this. No, it's not everybody that still really, really understand what email marketing is all about. Can we just share more light on what email marketing is all about and how we can also use it? Okay. So email email marketing okay. as a name okay. right, is a form of 
um, marketing to your subscribers and customers it's by sending them regular emails. Okay. Yeah, it's regular like email, regular email, like how many days interval? It depends on you, depends on your market. Some people send like Anthony Morrison. Yeah. They send emails three times a day. Yes. Some people send just once a week, once a day, okay. maybe twice in a week. Okay. It depends. So um, um now, so one thing that makes email very, very good okay. is that people want to, people opt in. When people opt into your email okay. list, okay. that means they said, that, okay. People sign up for the email list. Yeah. Yeah, yes, they sign up. I'm just trying to know you are doing yeah. the job now. I'm doing the interpreting. You are the preacher okay. and the interpreter now. <laughs> so let's proceed. Let's proceed, okay. my brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if it's something like a Facebook post, when you just when you post on Facebook, okay. when somebody sees your Facebook post, it doesn't necessarily mean that they wanted to see it. Okay. But when someone signs up to your email list, it means they've said, Oh, okay, I like this person, I like what he's teaching, I feel that he can help me. So yes, I am giving you my email so that you can send me messages regularly. Okay. Yes, exactly. Based on trust, trust based on trust. That brought the two of you together. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Email is very is relationship based. Oh, they're taking lights here. Oh. Nice. Can you guys still see me? We we it's, it's blank. You can use your picture. No no problem. That we have seen your face already, and we understand we're in Nigeria. Okay. All right. Yeah, you are in Nigeria. All right. So um, with email. There's a relationship, and relationships are very, very important for the growth of your business. Okay. So, with email marketing, you build a deeper relationship with your audience, with your customer. Yeah. Yes. And when somebody receives an email from you, okay. and the email is interesting, and the email has, you know, quality content that is helping them, okay. it's very easy for you to make them read the whole email. And if you can get them to read your email, then you can get them to click on your link and buy what you are selling. Okay. Because that's the point of business, to so make sales, make profits, as you're helping your audience, right? Yeah. Yeah, so email is just a very beautiful way to maintain that relationship with your audience and keep in touch with them regularly. Keep sending them regular emails mm -hmm. over over days or weeks or months. Okay. okay, okay. Yes. That is, that is, that is, that is good. I think, uh, uh, I, just like you shared recently that the uh, email is good for the behind the scene activities that you, uh, what you do with your customer within email is behind the scene. It's not everybody that will see it and the action that yeah. those people will be taking it's not everybody we also know like unlike when you post on social media uh, people are commenting you will easily know that this guy comments this guy like my post this guy share it this and that but with email mm -hmm. is it behind the scene it's behind the scene yeah, yes uh, and, yes and and to, i think the value that you are giving in the email and the way you put the call to action we really decide we will determine whether they will go for what you are selling or listen to what you are trying to appeal to them. Uh, I think mm -hmm. that, is, that, is, that is awesome. Now, let's go to this way that how do we grow email list? Okay, how do you grow your email list? Yeah. So, there is a right way to do this and there is a wrong way. Okay. Okay, some people, some people do they harvest emails from people that have not given them permission to send messages to them. Okay. Yes, and that is very bad. You are not supposed to do that. Okay. For somebody to sign up to your email list, okay. you have to present yourself to that person as, hey, I am somebody that can help you. I'm somebody that can help you solve your problem. I'm somebody that can teach you something you want to learn. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. 
So by signing up to my email list, you are going to get more value. Okay. Let's imagine we are on a website. You are reading a couple of articles by this uh, marketer. Okay. And you are liking what he's teaching. And he says, okay, if you want to learn more, you want to learn more, that you subscribe to my email list where you'll be getting you know, insider tips, okay. uh, strategies okay. that people outside the email list are not getting. Okay. So if they want, if your audience wants those insider tips, they want your strategies, or even maybe a free, a free guide, okay. even though I don't really recommend free guides, why? Okay. Because when you're giving out a free guide, and you're just making it a free guide, the people that will be opting into your email list are people that just want free stuff. Free stuff. Okay. Yes. Okay. And that is not good for your business. You want to be selling things. You don't just want people that so you just want to only want to just pack everybody into inside the Yes, inside the exactly. Box. I think exactly. I think that that really makes sense because some people they believe they think it is by number and it's not by number, it's by quality of network that you have. By yes. quality. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The light is back on. Wow. Praise God. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the okay. area. <laughs> All right. Thank yeah. you. Okay. So, All right. So, so, you so said when you are uh, like the free guide. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So to get people to subscribe to your email list. It's called attraction marketing, right? Okay. You show them what you have to offer. You say, okay, this is it. This is what it's going to do for you. If you want to learn more, if you want to get this, you know, content that can help you, okay. subscribe to my email list so that you're part of my community. You no know, inside community. Yes, yes. So that you get the stuff that I share in my community. That's a very good way to grow your email list okay. because. Nowadays, a lot of people have email lists, and as they are having their email lists, they are giving all sorts of free things, all sorts of free guides, and the average um, internet user now, they've subscribed to many, many lists in the past before, and when they subscribe to this kind of list, they get inside and realize that this person doesn't really have too yes. Much, uh, too much information. Too they much. Don't, uh, some of them don't even know which one to open, which one not to open. Which one? Yes, yes, I, yes, I yes. That. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are doing what everybody is doing, if you are, then the subscriber will just lump you into that category of I don't, I don't have time to be opening this guy's stuff. Okay. So, so I try to pull onto your email list and get them to be reading your emails. You have to position yourself as somebody that is different. Okay. As my own content is better than the content that you've been getting before. Okay. And you should be reading my own emails because it has more value for you. Yes, yes, exactly. That that value is very important. You always have to be giving your subscribers valuable content that can help them. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay, that, that that is good. But but but, but nevertheless, you can also use free free events to also group emails too, because there are there are some yes, people yes, that will come yes. into your into your event, maybe free one, just to see who you are, what you are capable of doing, and if you mm -hmm. can prove to them that okay, I'm, I I I can also take you on a journey beyond this by giving them yeah. the first place that I can also take that's you good. on a journey beyond this one. Since they have tasted the free ones, some of them may willingly, okay, let me try again. Let me see yeah. the journey that you can take me to. Are you, are you, uh, so I'm, I'm just saying this so that you know, we, we don't convince anybody here tonight that you can use free. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. To grow your yeah. Free, you good, it. free. Yeah, you can use it. But the danger is that many freebies sometimes they are just in fact some of them will just sign up they won't even attend the training i don't know whether you have you have, you have experienced that before they, I've, will, I've they will sign up they won't attend the training that is one thing about it but if it's a paid one 
you know you pay for a class you come up you come up for the class i i, I finish i i finished the two-day class on course creation today this evening mm -hmm. what i discovered is that all the people that subscribe for this at least 95 percent of them they showed up during the class mm -hmm. they showed up yes. because they pay if they don't pay they won't show up <laughs> That is one thing I've learned so far from all this. Uh, all this. In fact, the more you grow on the internet, the more you will learn, the more you understand how it works. That is one thing I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've come to understand about this journey so far. So now let's let's uh, there, there's this controversy that is going on. I don't know whether you are aware of double uh, double opt-in. Double opt-in. Single yeah, opt-in. Opt some people say that uh, single opt-in is the best. Why some say no? The, the double word is the best. I want people to confirm two times that they really want what I'm doing before I add them to my list. Some said, no, one is okay so that you don't confuse people. But for your own, as an expert in email marketing, which one you think is the best? And why is the best? Hmm. Okay. I think, personally, depending on the size of your list. Now, if you have one thing is that the software you use to send emails to your subscribers, okay. it gets, yes, yeah, the platform, what the um, autoresponder, okay. they get more costly as you increase the size of your email list. Okay. So if you are increasing the size of your email list regularly, 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 you don't want to be having too many people on your list that are not adding value to you. Yeah. So when you get when you get to that point, you want to be you have to screen your subscribers very very well. Okay. So for those kind of businesses, yes, double opt-in becomes useful for them because yes, it's only the most um, serious subscribers that will sign up, go and click the first link, click the second link. So you get very, very, very high quality subscribers. Okay. Then for markets where, let's say you are new, you're just starting, you want to make it easy for your subscribers to get value from you. Then you can remove the double option. As you get bigger, to get bigger, as you want to start cleaning your list, as you want to start making it more higher quality, then you can start doing double opt-in. Okay. Double opt-in is just another another test for your subscriber to show that they're serious. They are serious, yeah. Yes. So me, single opt-in, I like using single opt-in a lot, especially if the content that is attracting them to your email list will already screen them out. Okay. For example, I used to write um like Let's say a pre sale article that is talking about what you are going to get in my email list. Okay. One of the things I'll write in that pre sale article is okay, this is not for people who can't afford certain amounts, or this is not for you if you've not achieved this so 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 and so before. Okay. Yes. So by the time you put things like that in your attraction content, okay. it's going to repel people that are not a good fit for what you have to offer. Okay. So by anybody that gets to the end of that pre-sale article, it's already somebody that is serious. Okay. And for somebody like that, you don't need to put double opt-in for them. Just let them come in, okay. send them the first email. If, they, if the email is legit, then they'll get the bonus, they'll get the what you're offering. Okay. It goes like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, so basically okay basically i'm listening basically double opt-in is for as your as your list is getting bigger okay i want to make sure only the best subscribers get okay. into your platform okay. yes okay. okay single opt-in is good when you're just starting out and when you have already done proper work to qualify your subscribers before they sign up okay 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 uh, yeah. Uh, you said something earlier on that you were trying on Viver. Later on, you moved to the uh, you, you you met your mentor who asked you what? 
I'm getting a wrong message from my like, okay that uh no what I want to ask is this that how did you break into the five five figure sales with your digital marketing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm having a weak internet, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now, it's back. Yeah. How how did you break into that? How do you break that? Okay, so when you're on platforms like Fiverr, it is clients that come to you that you're able to sell to. Okay. And on platforms like that is a something called a buyer's market. Okay. It means that everybody there is competing based on price. Okay. Uh, come and buy from me because I have the lowest price. Come and buy from me because I have the lowest price. Okay. And you can't really offer too much value for the price that they are paying you for that kind of work. Okay. So, so I wanted to look for clients that were high quality clients because on Fiverr most of the time is people that are just Okay, about, okay. About. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, most of the people that come and meet you on the phone, like Fiverr, usually startups, people that have not really done much with their business and they're looking for somebody to perform magic for a very, very cheap price. Okay. So, after a while, working with those kind of businesses, I realized that. Sometimes, even if you are the best marketer in the world, if you are trying to sell a product that is not selling, that is not very, very good, then you are going to stop. Okay. Most of the time, this kind of um, clients don't really pay well. Wow. So what I did was that I left Fiverr, I left the platform of Fiverr. Okay. And I started looking for clients that were already doing well in business. Okay. But they don't know how to use email marketing. Okay. Okay. Because your business might be already selling, you're selling, you're doing um, live events, you're posting your Facebook group. Okay. You are doing the sales manually. But if I come in and help you set up an email sequence that is automated, that is more persuasive, then you can make more sales can convert more of your subscribers into paying customers. Okay. You can make more money, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm but I'm, if you are doing I'm, I'm seeing a signal from my side. I'm having a weak internet. I don't know what is going on, whether it is my network. But can you hear me and okay. can you be able to, can you also see me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Let's go. Yes, I can see you. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's, okay. So, I'll just, Go ahead, go ahead, sir. So basically, I wanted my service to have impact for. Okay. Because if, if somebody is on fire by paying you maybe $20 to write an email sequence and their business is not making money, then that $20 is all they can afford to pay you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That same email sequence. I'm going to admit a business that is making me the mm -hmm. ten. Can you hear me? I can hear. Uh, I can hear. You. I can hear you now. Okay. So it's the same. It's the same email sequence. Okay. But it's having bigger impact in a business that's already doing well. Okay. Yes, and those kind of businesses, they are. They're less troublesome, they're easier to work with, they appreciate the value of your um, services. Unlike the, and that the, is new, the new, the new guy that just coming up, <coughs> who don't even know what, what it takes to do the business, but they want magic overnight. Yes, exactly. And they, they don't have the money to pay. Exactly. They don't have the, I understand you. I've, I've met a lot yes. of them like that too. So if you are running business, hardly you yes. know them or when you are starting up. So, uh, mm -hmm. this will be my, okay, uh, I want to ask, no, there's what we call sequence email, and I think that is one of the yes. 
uh, an area that you can also use to grow your 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 email list and at the same time if you do it well you can also mm -hmm. push your offer to those people who subscribe for the sequence email so i want to know what is sequence mail email and how can we also use it and also make revenue or profit from it okay all right for a sequence email you are basically sending um a sequence of maybe three, four, five emails okay. spread over some of this. Now, the goal of a sequence email okay. is to take a customer or a subscriber from, I don't know this person, or just strangers, okay. I just came to his list, okay. to a point where they feel like, oh, wow, I really know this guy, I really like him. And yes, I'm ready to buy what he's selling. Okay. So there are some things a customer wants to know before they are ready to buy from you. Yeah, I agree with you. Questions like, okay, what makes your own product special? Yeah. Um, has it worked for other people before? Yeah. Uh, what is your story? What led you to making this product? And why do you do it like this? Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. So all this, when you have a list of all these questions, as you're making your email sequence, each email should answer one of these questions and bring your subscriber to start to the sale. Okay. For example, with my agency, one of the sequences we do is called a KLTCC sequence. Five emails. K L C. C C K L C C C. That is three C. No T T letter T T. Okay. Okay. K L T then double C. Double C. Okay. The acronym. Yes. K stands for no. No. Okay. Yes. L stands for like. Okay. Like. Trust. Yes. C stands for trust. Trust. Okay. No like trust. Mm -hmm. Then the first C stands for challenge. Okay. And the last C stands for. What is what is last C stand for? Convert, convert, like okay, so convert, I've okay. converted you. So how? So these are the five stages. Okay. How do you apply them? How what? How do you say? How do you apply them? When the subscriber enters your email list, okay. they don't know you, they don't like you, they don't trust you yet. Okay. So you need to address those three things first. For example, you can talk to your subscriber and say, hello, I understand where you are going through, I know your struggles, I know where you are trying to get to, and I was in a similar situation before. And now that you're on my email list, I'm going to be sending you regular content to help achieve so 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 that you can be able to so which way you want to reach. So that is a no. Okay. Okay, do you hear what I said? Should I repeat it? I, I, I heard it. I heard it. I okay. heard it. My net, I don't know what is right, going so on connection now. And it has not been been like this. I'm receiving a message that I have a weak internet. I don't know whether you are seeing the same thing from your side, but we can continue. Let's, mm -hmm. let's see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. So it how do we, how can we use this e uh, sequence email to generate revenue? Okay. So when you take a subscriber from the new you. To like. you, know them, you tell them for the like email, you can tell them the story of your background, how okay. you yes, like so that they can like you told them a little bit about you so they can relate to you in the okay. 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 Right? Okay. Then the third email is the trust email. Okay. Because our current business landscape is very easy for anybody to just 
bring out an offer and say that yes, this is the newest thing box. So for people to trust you, you need to be able to prove to them that what you are selling is working. I show testimonials, people that have gone through the struggle before, maybe your own trouble too, whatever it was that shows that yes, what I'm showing is going to work. Okay. That's for trust. Okay. Then the challenge. The challenge email is where you differentiate yourself. Because if you are just coming as another another regular guy that is okay. doing the same thing everybody's doing, they're not really going to take notice of you. Okay. So with the talent email, you come with a new angle. Maybe you are telling, let's say, um, losing weight, because that's something I wrote. Maybe you say, okay, yes, I know you've been struggling to lose weight before, but that's because you've been doing it the wrong way. I can point out a couple of things that other people are doing that is not really working. Okay. I can show them that my own method is different because it does this social so and so and it doesn't do social so and so. Okay. They are showing them that they are challenging their mindset that they can be a better way. Yes, they are going to do this. Okay. And that is one of the key factors in being able to make more sales because if you are not challenging your subscriber, if you are not you know, changing their way of thinking, shifting them to move towards you, okay. they are able to make it easier. But when you challenge them, you stand out. Now you can see that hey, this guy is different from and all they, the rest of them. they will now be easily to convert if you can challenge them, let them like you, trust you, know you more better. They will be hard for they will be they will be tough time to convert them since they they have no yes. like what are we at what you are doing now the purpose behind this for people to know us more so that they can like oh, us, so. trust us, and then we challenge them. Let them know yes. that this journey that we are mm -hmm. saying is true. If you pass it, you also get this result. And you are also doing the same thing. And they see that you are doing it and you are getting the result. By that, it will be, it will be easy for you to convert them. Or like when they don't even know you, they, you are just coming from one angle that they don't yes. know. Without they talking to them. Mm -hmm. you want, they will be wondering, who is this guy? Is that how you want me to just pay you just like that? I don't know you. I don't, I don't trust you. You might be one of those guys who scam online or... Okay, I think that mm -hmm. if, you want, if, if you want to do anything online, this five acronym K L T C C no like, trust, challenge, and convert are those things that you really need most if you want to do anything online. Am I right, my other? I'm not hearing you. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes, that is that's, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I want to ask yes, you, you're right. I you're want right. to ask this right. before you go that uh, like like how many percentage you will say okay with this percentage of open rate your email your email uh newsletter or so maybe broadcast or whatever is good. Like how many open rates do you do you value? I mean do you put before you qualify an email list as as a as a valuable one or profitable one? Hello? Hmm. Okay. Now, this is a little advanced strategy I use. Yes, can hear me. Hello? I can hear I you. Hear me now. Hey, I can hear you now. Okay. Oh, I can, can hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? I can hear you continue. Okay, so I'm back. Okay. Yeah, I'm still I can still hear you. I can still hear you. Okay, okay. So when you have a, an email list, okay. The messages you are sending out to your email list. Okay. 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 Your list. So one of the things to get a better open rates, better conversion rates, is to segment your email list, right? Okay. Okay. What I mean by that is, 
if I am if I have a list of people that are trying to lose weight, okay. some people would be interested in exercise. Okay. Some people prefer diets. Diet, yeah. Yeah, some people prefer using supplements and you know herbal teas and things like that. Okay. So if I send an email okay. on weight loss or okay. fitness to the okay. whole email list. Okay. The response rate might not be very, very good. Maybe I'll be getting like. Can you still hear me? Hey, I can hear you, my brother. Go ahead. Maybe I'll be getting like twenty percent open rates. Maybe I'll be getting like twenty percent open rates. Okay. That says a list of two thousand people. I send out an email on exercise, okay. and I get a twenty percent open rate. That is, that is, that is big. That is big. Yeah. But now let me teach you, let me show you a little strategy for you. Okay. If I segment that email list and I say, okay, hey, you guys, I'm going to send out a promotion very soon. If you're interested in exercise to lose weight, then just click this link here and you'll be added to a separate list. Okay. Now let them um, like six hundred people, and these six hundred people now are part of a special small list okay. that is for people that are interested in exercise. Okay. Now, if I send that, that same fitness email to that list of six hundred people, mm -hmm. I can now get an open rate of like eighty percent. Yeah, because you have segmented because them. Because Yes, these are people that are very interested in that particular Maybe. Yes, now I will send that email to the many people on my list. Okay. Because it's not going to relate to them very, very well. But, 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 so, but those are the, the, so, excuse me. If you want to segment them now, you know, they, 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 this, you want to segment them, these people, this, uh, these people from one, one email list. And you want to segregate mm -hmm. those who want the diet and those who want the training. So, if you are sending the email to them so that you get their, in order for you to get their response, are you going to ask them in form of question that uh, which one you want or which one you don't want? Or how? Because you can't just pre assume that these people will like this, this, this one will like mm -hmm. What tactics do you use there? Are you there? Mm -hmm. Like my or weight loss through exercises. I can hardly hear. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you. Okay. I said maybe the title of that email be exercising to lose weight. Okay. 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 Now, first, first of all, that subject line okay. is only going to entice. It's only going to relate to people that I want to exercise. Yes, okay. people that see that email and uh, open it are going to do that. So maybe inside the email, I'll say, "Hey, what's up? Uh, I've been working with some fitness trainers lately, and they've taught me some new strategies for." Easily burning fats okay. without using diets and you know weight loss supplements. Okay. Just through regular physical exercise. And if you are interested in learning more about this, just click this link so that I'll know to send you these emails. They will now sign up for it again. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. That's good. Okay. Okay. Or if you don't if you don't, if your email list is not that big, okay. you can just send it out to everybody. Okay. But if you are using a general list, okay. then an open rate of like 20 to 40% is okay. Wow, wow, that is good. Let me, let me see whether we have question from the... Okay. It seems we don't have question. Okay, so now, where are you planning to take the... Revenue Dynamo to what? What is your plan about the company? Mm, we keep um, we keep refining our process. You know, okay. 
And as we get better results for our clients, we'll start working with bigger clients that are doing bigger business, bigger email lists. Okay. And from there, maybe expand to complementary services like Facebook ads to help you build your email list. Okay. Google ads, just things like that as we get or master one thing first. You are not planning to have your own email, 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 uh, email, uh, email platform where people can come and send their email. Oh yes, yes, yes. I do, I do. Mm. But for now, some of the things I am, um, I used to do a lot of affiliates and info info product offers before. Okay. So right now I'm working on a book. I'm working on my own book. Okay. And from that book, I'm going to use that to, you know, start attracting people to my own email list. Okay. Build my own community, you know, okay. where I can teach people on email marketing. Yes, on email marketing or marketing in general. And any other information. But I feel like. Okay. Mm, I feel like there are a lot of people doing that right now, and. I don't really have anything that is special about my own. So I'm working on that. And when I get there, then we can focus uh, on making an email list. I think, I think anything, <laughs> anything business is... Uh, I used to tell people, no no profitable business, no unprofitable business. It's, it yes. depends on how you put your business into the market. The way you bring it to the market yes. is how people will price it. So uh, it's not about maybe the uh, the market is saturated or people are full already. If you bring it up, you still see people that will be buying that will that will, uh, that will still come and patronize the your company. I'm talking about the email co company now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still see people that will buy. You, what you just you should just focus is that don't think you don't go and do competition with maybe the like of mailship or any other big big company. Just do your own as a normal way of running business and tactically grow grow growth you know we, we we belong to some international platform like that woman in new zealand that we where where we met okay so mm -hmm. if you have an email platform that you are selling and you market it you know they used to have their market day like uh like david federalist uh that online course creator coach i don't know whether you know david federalist like that guy i think every friday is his own market day and that uh catherine i've been talking to her christine that christine uh christine i forgot her name i've been talking to her to come and lead her to come and take us on copyright and she was telling me she's she's kind of engaged lately so if you market okay. on those platform you know you don't think uh you should not just think oh, okay if i market i'm see one thousand it could be ten five people that will be subscribing before you know within five years you may be having like twenty thousand fifty thousand 200,000 customer all over the world and that is money even though it's 10 dollars they are paying per month times 200,000 that is money so i think digital uh, <laughs> when we are thinking about digital products software creation is something that we should also focus on not just all this ebook selling online courses in fact yes where money is hiding online i will i will, I will say the for now gateway payments and software creation in fact those those two angles we need to see how we can also get some some eyes on it, eyes from that side get your payment right mm -hmm. receiving money and sending out money online then software creation imagine what i'm doing what we are doing right now i may need to edit it and i will need video editing to do that are you getting me yeah yeah, yeah i will yeah, need yeah, some yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe video editing to do it and that video editing if care is not okay they will watermark the video for me to the extent that if I don't if I don't want them to do the watermarking, I will need to go and pay them before they will remove, remove the watermark. Yeah, you have to pay them. Yes. Yes. So, uh, digital products, software. I mean, software creation and and gateway payments. We let's go and see how we can work on on, do, on those things. It's not about cost creation building uh, uh doing online training alone now we need to create something that we go globally you know like uh pk that is uh pastor Kule, sorry, 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 sorry. he says something that nowadays people don't don't need to go to war before they will capture people into they will, before they will take people into slavery 
what people are using now are technology. Mm -hmm. you mentioned Facebook. That look at Facebook. It didn't fight any one of us, but hardly you wake up in a day. You don't go and you don't go and pay respect to Facebook in the morning. Hardly that some of us exactly yes in the morning that will not pay homage to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. And can you see what these guys are doing? And one thing about all these things that if they are not making yeah. money from all these things, they won't continue doing it. Africa should look at how they, they can don't continue. It. Yeah, we should stop consuming now. Let's create something that will go globally. Uh, and I think me and you we need to talk more on this aspect after the class. So, do you have any program coming up that you may want? Maybe if we have anyone that may want to sign up, or do you have any anything that you may want to offer? Mm, for now, I just have a small short guide on how to create. Um, how to write better emails that help you sell more. Okay. And you know, it's not a screen, it's just a short report, but it's very, very mm -hmm. um, actionable. Okay. And so I'll share that in the link below after this um, class. Okay. But, oh. okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. For now, okay, yes, you mentioned what was next, Abby. Yes. You asked me what was next. Yeah. Um, part of the things I'm working on now, because okay. I believe um, everything is stage by stage. Okay, okay. From this one is a way to just um, my the agency is a way to generate like cash flow. Okay. So to invest that cash flow and grow it, um, planning on going into e-commerce. E that's something that I'm looking at doing by the end of the year. Okay. And. From there, this software, this software that I talked about now. Okay. I actually considered it, but I don't have any expertise with, um, you know, creating software and doing things like that. But as time goes on, we we'll learn it. We'll everything stage by stage. Yes, I agree. With yes, you. but that is a very good idea. Very okay. good idea. Yeah. Okay. Now, so, if anyone wants to contact you, how will, are they going to reach out to you? Okay, I'm here on Facebook. My Facebook DMs are always open. Okay. And if you would like to contact me, just send me a message. You know, tell me how to introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, usually online. Okay. Or WhatsApp. I reach me on WhatsApp in my WhatsApp line. Okay. Oh, okay. What we are going to do is this drop your contacts with the link that you want to share in the comments. Okay. Yeah, or spell your call your call out your email. Okay. Yeah, call out your email. A D. A D. Okay. R I A N. Okay. Dot. U W O. Okay. Double L O H. Okay. At gmail dot com. Okay, that is Andrea Wallo. Andrea dot Wallo at gmail.com yes okay. yes so can, if you if you are if you are watching right now look at the, my mouse this this is name then you can see where I, my mouse is on screen now so just type his name so in between andrea andrea and wallo put yeah. that then after the wallo at gmail.com so you get you you, also, yes. you drop your whatsapp number it's not everybody that use whatsapp and it's not too so many people uh, yes. Some people will not even want to contact you. 